So the backdrops here, generally it's the scenery or where the game or the story is set. I can choose another backdrop here. There's lots of different backdrops, such as uh, you know, all kinds of different places, but maybe we'll go forest. And then all of a sudden we are in the forest and we've got the cat in the forest. So that's great. It's already looking like something's going to happen. We've set a scene. You can also paint a backdrop. So let's say you want to have a blue backdrop. I could grab the square and then just paint a blue backdrop like that. So there's all kinds of things you can do and the backdrops uh, we can control in the same way we control the sprites in that we could say, let's say we go to this backdrop and I duplicated that and I made this one a different color and I did that. So now we've got, I'll delete these so they're not in the way. Now we've got a blue and a red backdrop. So if I go back to the code and I think, okay, I've clicked the flag, the cat's gone up there. I'd like the backdrop to switch, to start off on the red one and then to change to the blue one. So this is backdrop three. I'm just going to call this red and this one blue. And then I'll go to the code for this backdrop and I'll say when clicked. And then I'll go to the looks and I'll say switch backdrop to red and then maybe wait one second and then go back to looks and switch backdrop to blue. Okay, let's see what happens. Great, went from red to blue and maybe I'll move the cat and I know that the cat is going to go to these coordinates which are up here. So when we click this flag, two things will happen. The backdrop will start red and then it will go to blue and the cat will instantly move up to here. Here we go. Great. So this is basically how you get things to happen. You almost the best thing to do is to say it out loud to yourself. What do I want to happen? Okay, I want this thing to happen. And then you think, okay, how's that going to work with the code? When I click this, the cat will go to these coordinates. What if I said I wanted the cat to wait two seconds? Let's see what happens then. I'll move the cat. Red, blue, cat moves. Great, because in our costume we had one second. This is when clicked, the red would appear instantly. We would wait one second and then we would switch to blue. And the cat was going to wait two seconds. So switch, switch, move. Great. So all of these things, they make sense when you say them out loud or when you write them down 